Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just have one quick question as it related to his comments earlier about the, the pension contribution um, under the uh, school, school retirement uh, line item. Um, you had indicated that in 2008, I believe it was $422 million, and this year it's almost $1.4 billion in state funds. What does that money go to do? That helps our school districts uh, uh, pay their employees' uh, pension contributions. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, on, on the bill? Gentleman is in order on the bill. You know, over the last few months, we've received a lot of boilerplate emails talking about possible pension changes. What this bill does is guarantee to all of those that have been sending us those emails that the pension contribution will be funded this year. And just so those that are watching at home that aren't covered under a school district pension, let me, let me explain how that works. If you work as a school employee for 33 years, you can retire after 33 years with 100%, 100% of your net pay. How does that work? It's because we passed budgets tonight of $1.4 billion, which I think quite ironically is a billion dollars more than what was contributed under a prior administration in 2008. For some reason, that $1 billion number sounds familiar, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure why that would be. But getting back to the pensions that that those that work at Eaton in my district and FedEx Ground and, and Consul and GlaxoSmithKline and Calgon Carbon and Williams and Chevron and Nova Chemicals, the pensions that they don't get, let me explain again how that works. So after 33 years at a 2.5 multiplier, roughly that's 82% of your pay, but when you retire in Pennsylvania, there's no tax, no personal income tax on your retirement. There's no longer a retirement contribution, and there's no longer a contribution to Social Security and Medicare. So all of those, all of you that are there at home tonight, saving in your 401k plan, and saving in your regular savings account, pull those statements out. And let me know after 33 years whether you can retire at 100% of your net pay. I received this email last week, and it's short, and I'll close with this. Representative Mustio, I contacted you several months ago for some help I needed with my unemployment check. Those were tough times for our family, but we were able, we were able to live off some savings and shop more smartly. I really, it really gave a new meaning to living within our means. I never did email you to let you know the great help your staff provided during that time. I'm writing to you today with better news. I start Monday at an office job with one of the local gas drilling companies in Moon. Good luck with the budget. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.